Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Out YouTube channel and it is the last day of the month which means it is time for me to share what I got in my P.O. box this month. I hope you'll stick around and see all of the lovely creations. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Each month, I like to stop by and share a look with you at what I got in my P.O. box for the month. Sometimes these are show us your sheet load cards using either the current or past sheet load of cards and other times they're cards and little packages just because. I think this month I received more cards than I ever have so I am probably going to switch it up just a little bit but I'll talk about that here in a minute. Now if you ever want to send in a just because card or a card for the show us your sheet load feature my P.O. box is always at the bottom of my description box and I have a video in the description box below that tells you the different ways that you can show us your sheet load. It's either here on YouTube, over on Instagram, or you can send in a card for this monthly video. Now, speaking of YouTube and Instagram, I will put a link to the videos and Instagram posts for this month in the description box below, so I hope that you'll go check those out and see what others have shared online. Because April was my birthday month, and when I was on Craft Roulette last time, Mary encouraged her subscribers to send me a birthday card, I did get lots of extra envelopes this month. So instead of the usual take the picture, talk about it for 15 to 20 seconds, I am going to take a picture of all the cards, but then I'm just going to put the name up on the screen unless I have like a special message back to the sender. I hope that that will work for you this month. I just didn't want you to have to sit through 40 minutes of a video of me talking. I'm sure you understand. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get started. The first set of cards I'm going to be sharing are cards sent just because and envelopes that contain multiple months of sheet loads. The cards that I shared on screen while I was talking at the beginning all came from Jessica N. of Florida and she has fallen in love with clear cardstock too and she included two examples in her envelope. Speaking of clear cards, this is also a clear card from Irma M. of Indiana and she sent me a nice note and just like my mom, my sister and I, she also gets together over Zoom with some of her family members to craft. Sandra D. of Michigan sent in these two beautiful cards and it came with such a touching note where she shared some personal information with me and I just want to say Sandra that I'm going to send you big virtual hugs, squeeze yourself tight, that's me giving you a hug and that I'm so glad that you found my videos when you needed them. This next set of cards were birthday cards to help me celebrate my April 11th birthday and it was fun to keep the celebration going all month long. Hey. 
Hilda Nell V of California sent me this clear birthday card, which does use a past sheet load of cards. And I just want to apologize to Hilda Nell in advance. She probably had this beautiful bow on the front of the card. And last month when I had tons of envelopes to open, I decided that I would get a good old fashioned letter opener. Well, when I opened hers up, it must have grabbed that ribbon just perfectly and tore it off. Thank you for the beautiful card, Hilda Nell, and sorry about the ribbon. Anne M. of Wisconsin said in her adorable birthday card that she is a new subscriber, so I just wanted to say welcome, Anne. This card is from somebody you might recognize if you ever stop by Mary Gunn's Craft Roulette. Ellen Card Monkey Jarvis is always there every Friday in the audience, and she even participates as the guest sometimes. Thank you, Ellen. Now you might recognize Karen C from cards earlier in the video, and I actually have a second Karen C this week, so that wasn't a typo, but I just wanted to stop by with a little note about the note inside this birthday card, and Karen let me know that she's my number one fan, and I might have to agree with all of the lovely cards and little gifts you send me. Thank you so much, Karen. I didn't realize until I was doing my voiceover that that little door on the side of Alessa's card actually opens up and inside of it, it reads adventure awaits, wishing you the best year yet. So adorable, Alessa. Thank you. Sherry P's card was another one I didn't realize had a little fun flap on it until the voiceover. The Sending Blessings little banner opens up and on the inside it reads, On Your Birthday. So cute, Sherry. Thank you. And last but not least are two birthday cards from the person who is responsible for this wonderful influx of extra cards this month. Mary Gunn of Craft Roulette and Fun University created the two cards you see on screen here for our episode of Craft Roulette. Now, if you haven't yet seen that episode, I will link it in the description box below. We had tons of fun and I hope that you'll check it out. Thank you, Mary. The next batch of cards that you're going to see are cards following the April sheet load. Now, some of these might be birthday cards, but I think it was just a coincidence. Jan Yu of Texas sent in this adorable birthday card using the April sheet load, and she wrote me a little note inside, and I just wanna say, Jan, I am so glad that you stuck it out and kept trying because your cards turned out beautifully. Thank you. Jessica N. of Florida sent in this clear card using the April 2021 sheet load of cards, and you might recognize her name from earlier in this video. Hers were the cards that I shared on screen in the intro. I discovered another envelope from her later. Thank you so much, Jessica.
Iona S. of Washington is a first time show us your sheet load submitter. I am so glad that you sent in a card, Iona. Thank you. Terry R. from Massachusetts sent in two April sheet load cards, and I just love that the one on the left, she has used the inside of a security envelope for that pattern paper. Ingenious. Thank you, Terry. This final batch of mail were little packages that included some special gifts for me. Yvonne K. from Wisconsin saw how much I love the snail envelope seals from last month's card that she sent me in what she had left. They are so adorable and I cannot wait to use them on some cards. Thank you so much, Yvonne. Teresa R. of Florida sent me two envelopes this month. The first one contained that beautiful Easter card on the left, and the second one was a little package with the beautiful thank you card and that little grass border die cut. Teresa and I teamed up, I think it was last month for an inspired Saturdays, and I mentioned how I didn't have any grass dies, so I used some grass edger scissors. So she sent me one that she had that she wasn't using. Thank you so much, Teresa. Pat M. of North Carolina gifted me with like new cuddle bug plates. If you watch my channel long, you know that my favorite die cutter is my cuddle bug, which is no longer being produced, which means I can't buy new official plates. And Pat was so kind that she sent me two of her B plates that she doesn't need anymore. And I will definitely treasure these and it is going to keep me using that cuddle bug for many years to come. Thank you so much, Pat. This next beautiful card and dies are from Crystal W. of Colorado. She also heard that I was without a grass border and she sent me a set she had that you can create a little park scene. Crystal, thank you so much. I will definitely be using these. Wow, I think I have some of the most talented subscribers out there. If you agree, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. I also want to give a great big extra thank you to everyone who took the time to send in a card or a package this month. It is always greatly appreciated. I love to see your cards, read your notes, and then use the little goodies you send in. Until my next video, which is tomorrow, a brand new sheet load of cards, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.